In this System.io tech tutorial, I'm going to show you how to upload a picture and use the picture element or the image element in the builder. So it doesn't matter if you're using a blog, a funnel, or a course area, it all is the same. So what you want to do is you're going to have a section right here. So I did it. I just clicked on it and it uploaded the section. And then you're going to scroll and you're going to see the media element, this one, see image. What you're going to do is you're going to click on it and then you're going to drag it. Now notice the blue light color in different places. And then there is the bit of a darker blue. So when you have the darker blue and you see that, that is when you actually drop the image depending where you want it. Now you're going to see the image appear like this. If you hover over it, you will see in orange the image. Now you're going to just click on it and notice that on the left, you're going to see the image details are going to appear. Now to upload an image, you're going to need to click on this button right here, which is the upload button of the image file. So you're going to click on it and then you're going to select the file. Now, if you've already uploaded images, they're going to appear right here in your images library and you'll be able to search for them. So for example, if I search for my name around, you will see different images that I've already uploaded before. Now I'm going to click on upload and then I'm going to select a file. And from here, I am now going to pick an image that I'm going to upload. In this case, I'm simply going to pick this one. I'm now going to click on open. It's going to automatically upload and you're going to see the image that's going to appear. Now I'm going to click on insert. And here is the image. Now, if you now hover of your mouse somewhere on the side and you're going to click on it, you're going to see the image and it's not going to be as visible in this particular case. Now, if you click on it again and you'll see the image inside the orange thing, you're going to be able to edit different pieces. So for example, you can choose to make it so the image has a shadow. For example, you can do something like a hard shadow. So now when you click on it and let's click elsewhere, you're going to see that it has a hard shadow around it. I'm going to click on it again. I'm going to now remove the shadow and bring it back to no shadow at all. And I'm going to click on style. I can actually put dotted, which is going to show dots around it. Now you will see that the width of the dot is only number one, which is very small. So it's going to be barely visible at all. Now, if I now change the color to, let's say red, it's going to be a little bit more visible. And if I make this a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, you'll see it will become bigger and bigger. Now I can also change it to dashed. I can also change it to solid and you can customize all of these to whatever color you want. If you want to do that. Now I'm going to make this in this case, I'm going to just make it none and I'm going to show you something else, which is the margins. Now the margins are relevant to the spaces that are available outside of the image. So what that means is if I was to add, let's say 40, you're going to see it's going to create a margin here. So it's going to make the picture smaller in different sides. If I want to make it spaced out, on the sides, but I don't want it spaced out on the top and bottom, I will click here and I will choose. So this is the top. This is right. This is bottom. And this is left. Now, I can also make it so the borders right here and right here can also change. Now, the way to do that is I can click here and I can make it. So for example, number three, now you will notice that this now has a little border radius as well. So that is also something that's customizable. Now, the other thing you can do is you can blur the image as well. 
if you so choose. This is good if you're sharing templates, for example, you don't want people to see what the template actually says, things along these lines. That's also an option. And then in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make it a hard shadow. I'm going to make it a style solid. I'm going to make it gray. And you'll see that it's kind of like this with the hard shadow and it's got the border as well. Now, you can also make this picture to actually open in a new tab with a link. So what you're gonna do is you're going to click here on select file or paste URL. If you can click here, click on files, you can actually have it open in a new tab. So this is going to be a video of it will open in a new tab or something like that. And so that's how you link a specific file. Alternatively, you will put a URL here. So for example, I'm going to put my system IO onboarding. I'm gonna paste it here. And I can choose to have it open in a new tab or in a new window. So if I want that, I will click here. Alt text is simply going to be for SEO purposes. You're going to label this picture. So I will label woman holding phone next to laptop, let's just say. Okay, that will be the label of this particular image. Now I'm going to click on save. And now if I was to now preview this, and click on the image, you will notice that it's going to open in a new tab, just like I told it to, basically. Now I'm going to remove this link, and instead I'm going to link it to a specific file. So for example, I'm going to put this video right here, just for the sake of demonstration. Save changes, click on preview, scroll all the way down to the bottom, click on it again, and you'll see it will open in a video. So these are all the features of an image. You can also make it so it's on the left, on the right, the alignment. You can also make the image smaller or bigger if you so choose. And note that the size of the image and how much you can do here also depends on the actual image file in the first place. So I recommend you put as small image as you can while still making it good quality because that's going to affect page speed. So that is the A to Z of being able to show an image and use an image as an element in system IO. There is of course other little features like here, which you can make an image visible on desktop or mobile. So if I was to click here and uncheck the desktop, you will see that this will disappear. But if I was to click on mobile, it will still be visible and it will say mobile only. I'm gonna turn it back on, but you're gonna see the same thing. If I uncheck the mobile, this will disappear but now it will be available still on desktop and it will say desktop only. Now, if you want the image to only appear after a certain amount of time, then you can scroll all the way down and click on delay before displaying item. And let's say it's going to be five seconds. I'm gonna click on save changes. I'm going to scroll and refresh. I'm gonna scroll all the way down and one, two, three, four, five and now the image will appear. So this is how you can control how fast an image is visible as well. And you can do this with any element, basically. So that's pretty much it. Uh, that's what I want to show you with regards to the image and the different customization of what you can do. Again, if you wanna upload an image, you wanna click here on this button right here, and then you'll be able to upload whatever image you want. If you got value from this tutorial, please leave a comment with the word value. And if you're not already gone through my quick win registration and onboarding checklist, go to aranbukai.system.io and go through the steps. And also, if you are wanting to get more tech hands-on support, you can just join my Facebook group, which is aran.link forward slash group, which is my System.io tutorials Facebook group. Thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate you. Please do leave a comment and subscribe to this channel if you are new to this channel. And if you want some more hands-on support from me and my team, you can always go to our run.link forward slash 197 bonus. This page is going to show you how I can help you one-on-one -on -one with my team and give you a big discount on system IO as well when you sign up for the annual plan. We have different bonuses such as one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with my virtual assistant. 
to help you with integrating your domain name and things along these lines so you can get some more extra hands-on support. And if you want the higher plans, those are still available at the bottom right here. Thanks all for watching. Really appreciate you and I'll see you next video.